this time I'd like to call the South Union Township regular monthly meeting for September to order. At this time, can we stand for silent meditation? I do pledge of allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Move on to item number four on our agenda. Roll call. Mr. Schiffer. Here. Mr. Scott. Here. Mr. Vernon. Here. Okay, at this time I'd like to make a mo have a motion to recess so we go into a public, we have three public hearings to do be before we continue with our meeting. Second, Second motion to, re to recess. Second. Uh, I'll second. Oh, second. Okay. Made it second. Roll call, Mr. Scott. Yes. Mr. Schiffer. Yes. And Mr. Vernon, yes. Okay. At this time, we're going to go into a public meeting regarding the amendments to Section 9 of Ordinance 4 of 74. Mr. Davis, you want to explain that to the public? Yeah, this, is a, this would be an amendment to our existing ordinance, which requires all persons, partnerships, businesses, etc., to obtain a building permit uh, for construction, reconstruction, enlargement, alteration of various structures and provides for the issuance of the permit and provides for penalties for persons who don't do that and it also addresses the issue of, uh, of fees that would be charged. Under Section 9, it would, it would require a, a fee payable to the municipality at a rate of 0.25% of the estimated cost of post-construction as determined by the building permit officer. Applications for residential would be accompanied by a fee payable to the municipality rate of 25% of the permit fee charge. That should be 0.25% of the permit fee charge. Thank you. Does anybody want to testify for or against this amendment? The record no one's. I, I just would like to say this uh, fee that we're establishing here in this ordinance, it is in line basically with most other municipalities. There are variations with other municipalities, but this is pretty much uh, what most municipalities are, are charging, uh, correct, Mr. Over? That is correct. I mean, we represent 50 municipalities in, in five counties in southwestern Pennsylvania, and this this uh, the fees being proposed in, uh, under this amendment are basically really towards the bottom of what other municipalities are charging. So, okay. Any other comments? Or qu any other comments? Do we have a motion to approve this amendment to Ordinance 474? I'll make a motion. We approve the ordinance change before us today for Ordinance Number 4 74, right. Section we have, 9. Do we have a second to that? I'll second. Second, Mr. Scott. We have a motion, Mr. Schiffbauer, to second by Mr. Scott. Any questions on the motion? Roll call, Mr. Schiffbauer. Yes. Mr. Scott. Yes. Mr. Vernon, yes. Motion carries. This will be Ordinance Number 2. Uh, 2020. Next hearing we'll go into now is uh, public hearing regarding amendment to ordinance 2 15. Mr. Solicitor, you mentioned that to the yeah, public. This is an adopted, this would be an amendment to the Streets, Utilities, and Public Services Code Ordinance 2 15. And uh, basically, this would give the township the option to retain millage, which is asphalt, concrete, pavement, and any excavation material at its discretion. So when, a, uh, when you're having this type of construction and they remove the millage, the township could retain that and direct the contractor to uh, deliver it to a location directed by the township at no cost to the township. This would only be on township roads, of course, roads that are our roads. Do we have anybody for or against at this time to testify? There's no one here to either way then. We'll entertain a motion to, to approve this motion and this amendment. I'd like the motion to approve the amendment before us, ordinance 2 15. We have a motion, we have a second. I'll second Mr. Schiffbauer's motion. Uh, any questions on the motion? Roll call, Mr. Schiffbauer? Yes. Mr. Vernon, yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. 
Motion carries. That would be number three of 2020. Next item we have another public hearing, the last one, is the adoption of a yard waste. This is actually uh, for an ordinance. It's adoption of a yard waste <coughs> drop off or repealing ordinance uh, number one of 98, 1998. Mr. Davis, you yeah. want to? Yeah, this is an ordinance. Basically, it's, it's sort of updating the uh, rules and regulations as they apply to the South Union Township yard waste drop off facility. And, and provides for penalties for violations thereof. And what it does is it, it uh, classifies those persons within the township, township properties that can drop off their waste, the type of waste that can be dropped off. And it does apply to, to uh, con persons in the business of uh, landscaping and yard cutting uh, for certain uh, fees uh, that they would have to pay and sort in the term of in the form of the license. Are there any testimony to give for or against this ordinance? None for the record? Okay, do we entertain a motion to approve this new ordinance? I'll make a motion that we approve the yard waste drop off ordinance number 1 98. That's what we're going to, that's what, that'd be repealing that one. Yes. Okay. It's going to repeal that, so will be the new ordinance, and it repeals 1 98. Yeah, right. Okay. okay, we have a motion. We have a second on the motion. I'll second Mr. Schiffer's motion. Any questions on, her, on the motions? Roll call, Mr. Schiffer. Yes. Mr. Vernon, yes. Mr. Scott. Yes. Motion carries. That would be number four of 2020. Okay, we're going to maybe entertain a motion to go back into our meeting at this time. We have a motion to go back into our meeting. I'll make the motion to go back in at 412. Do you have a second? I'll second. Second one, Mr. Schiffer. Motion on the motion. Roll call. Mr. Vernon, yes. Mr. Schiffer. Yes. And Mr. Scott. Yes. And we're back into the, our regular meeting. Uh, next item on our agenda will be number eight, Roadmaster's Report. I'll handle that for the township. The report, Roadmaster's Report for the month of August. Um, trim trees throughout the township. We hauled compass. Uh, we had the tractor out, cutting some grass on the berms of the road. Uh, we picked up litter throughout the township. I think we did that four different days. Uh, but we whacked around the, some of the guardrails also around our township rec center and our building. We replaced four faded stop signs throughout the township. We straightened some street sign poles. Uh, we cleaned up and pulled weeds around the township rec center and the building. We replaced a storm drain pipe and leaf. Uh, we replaced about 220 feet of storm drain pipe on Highland Park Drive in the Cherry Tree area. I want to mention that was a, a, lo a long job. That was, we started in the afternoon and worked till midnight at 1 o'clock. I'd like to thank Mr. Scott personally for handling that. That was some long hours. Uh, we tied in two driveways on Perry Street off of Franklin Street and also on Dalen Way off of Wiggins Lane. And we paved with our grant money uh, the Leith area and also Continental Two areas, our federal grant money. Uh, we worked on the sheepskin trail daily. Uh, we worked on the, uh, putting a picnic area out, Mr. Shipper. I will explain that to you in a few minutes. Uh, also, we painted a crosswalk in front of Hatfield School, and we painted some stops on the roads in the township. That concludes my road master's report, except for Mr. Shipper's picnic area he put together. Any questions on that? None? Okay. Go on to the sewage report. Mr. Scott. During the month of August, uh, Salem Heights Pump Station had one pump down. It's not getting rebuilt. Uh, we also ordered a new pump as a spare. Uh, delinquent customers have been given final notice. Um, once again, if you are delinquent, please come call us and we'll set up payment arrangements. Um, whatever we can do to help you, we'll help you. But if we don't, if you don't reach out to us, we can't help you and your water will be shut off, so try to reach out to us. Uh, we had an existing home at 462 Walnut Hill Road that was tapped into the sewer. Our recycling schedule has changed. Uh, we now collect on Monday through Wednesday, the second full week of the month. We had a lot of confusion about that. It's the second full week of the month. So um, if you're confused about it, we have it on our website, Facebook. We also send postcards out. We have the we have the actual <coughs> dates on 
uh, I believe Facebook, and it was on the postcard we sent to you, the actual dates that we picked up. So we did what we could. Uh, I think we told everyone last month, uh, Goodwill gave up on us, and we didn't have much time, so we did what we had to do. We were lucky enough to find a contractor who is picking it up, and there's been a lot of confusion saying it's going to the dump because it's being picked up in a garbage truck. I can assure you, we toured the facility in Connellsville, and it's not going to the garbage dump. It is going to be recycled. Uh, there's a huge facility down in Connellsville where anchor hawking used to be, and it's actually a pretty impressive site. So I, had, I know I had a lot of concerned citizens on Facebook messaging me because it's being picked up in a garbage truck. They sort it at the facility. They do all the sorting, so it can all be mixed together. They dump it out of the truck, and a machine actually sorts everything. So I assure you it is being uh, recycled. Um, this isn't sewage, but one other thing. Friday night, September 4th, we are having another movie out at the Hutchison Park. It starts at dusk. The movie will be Trolls, the new Trolls movie. Uh, so try and come out and see us. We'll also have the concession stand open. Uh, it opens at 6.30, so if you want to come out and have dinner before the movie. We had a nice turnout a couple weeks ago. Um, bring your own chair, social distance, or whatever you need to do. Everyone feels safe. We had about maybe 150 people there last time. It was really nice. That's it. Mr. Anything else you want to add for sewage? Nothing. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Let's go over the next will be code enforcement report. I'll handle that. <clears throat> code enforcement report for the month of August. We had Lester property repairs. We had one. Uh, they, they complied. We had uh, one junk vehicle. Put a citation pending against that one. One dog complained. They, they complied. Two burning complaints. Again, we burn on Saturdays from eight to five only. Must be a control blaze, which means someone has to be there with it at all times, and it must be out by five o'clock. High grass and weeds, we had two, uh, and they both complied. And uh, again, it up to 10 inches before we have to send you a warning letter first and then a citation if you don't listen. Uh, we had five quad complaints, and two citations were pending again against uh, the five complaints. Delinquent garbage accounts, we have 11 so far. Parking complaints, we have one, they complied. Citations issued for our code officers uh, is 10. Again, we have one full-time officer run, working every day from 7 to 3.30, and we have part-time officers working in the evenings and on weekends uh, throughout the township. They traveled, the full-time officer went 504 miles. Our part-time officers traveled 1,655 miles for a total of 2,159 miles traveled throughout the township. Also, we had uh, 34 handicap tickets given out by our officers in 11 fire lane. That concludes my code enforcement report. Do we have anything else on my list? Let's okay. no. <coughs> go on the next, uh, next item on the agenda. Comments on the agenda items. Do we have any comments on the agenda items? We missed the motion for the minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I did. Let's move back one. I marked it off too fast. We have a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. So moved. Moved by Mr. Scott to be Second. accepted. Second by Mr. Shipper. Any questions on the motion? Roll call. Mr. Scott? Yes. Mr. Shipbuyer? Yes. And Mr. Vernon? Yes. Chairman, I apologize for missing that one. Now let's go over to... One uh, strike against you. Yeah. Yeah, that's terrible. It's a lot of stuff on this agenda. <laughs> the comments on the agenda items? Do we have a comment? Yeah, one comment. Um, I see you have the Bernard's uh, Developers Agreement and Sewage Module on the agenda. Are we also going to... Uh, seek final, conditional final approval for the land development and subdivision. <clears throat> yeah, I, so typic, typically, Jim, uh, the conditional final is given by the Planning Commission, and the supervisors don't act until the conditions are met, and then they give final approval. So, okay. um, but there are two items that aren't on the agenda, the parking study, We'll add that to the agenda and then a resolution to basically authorize the signature to the HOP for the traffic light upgrade. So. Okay. 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 Nothing else? Let's go to number 13. Acceptance of Menard's development agreement continues upon the purchase of the property, construction of sewer lines, and review of the final exhibits E and F. Mr. Everyone discuss that for the yeah, it, this is a, you know, 
for over a month now, we've been going back and forth with Menards um, and, and their consultants. And Glenn and I and Jason have worked, you know, and, and Bob and you guys have worked diligently to uh, develop a, a developer's agreement. Um, it's 99.9% .9 of the way there. The only two remaining items is uh, Glenn and I getting together and, and reviewing exhibits E and F to this agreement. Uh, but I think it's close enough that, that uh, the, the Board of Supervisors can uh, vote to uh, enter the agreement uh, contingent upon those two exhibits being finalized uh, and, and reviewed by the engineers. So. Okay. Nothing else then? We entertain a motion to, uh, to accept that the development agreement continues upon those two items. Shoreline review of the final exhibit E and F. We have a motion to approve that. I'll make a motion. Okay, motion by Mr. Scott. We have a second. I'll second the motion. Second by Mr. Shipfire. Any questions on the motion? Roll call, Mr. Scott. Yes. Mr. Shipfire. Yes. Mr. Vernon, yes. Motion carries. It's going to number 14, resolution for approval for plan revisions of the sewage facilities planning module for Menards, Inc. Mr. Over. Yeah, that, in order for the development to, to move forward, uh, the DEP has a planning module process for sanitary sewer facilities that must uh, be followed and part of the one part one step in the process is uh, the adoption of the plan by the Board of Supervisors and that's what this resolution is for. Okay. We have a, if other questions on it, comments? Uh, entertain a motion to approve this resolution? I'll move. Moved by Mr. Scott. Do we have a second? Second. I'll second by Mr. Shepfire. Any questions on the motion? Roll call, Mr. Scott. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Shipfire. Yes. Vernon, yes. Motion carried. That'd be resolution number seven of 2020. Okay, we're going to the next item. Okay, if, if I may, Mr. Sure. Chairman, um, <clears throat> as part of that ongoing uh, process for for the proposed Menard site, um, you also were provided a, a copy of a traffic uh, a parking study for the proposed Menards. Um, and it's a conditional use uh, variance um, based upon your ordinances and you'll, you'll need to have a resolution to accept the parking study for the proposed Menards as presented. At so the next meeting? No, we do it at so this meeting. This meeting? Yep. Yeah. Okay. They presented it, I think, the last meeting. They the did. But I think we, did, we, we tabled it, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah. tabled it until this meeting, yes. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. That's, is, is, that's not on the agenda, so you'll have to invite comment okay. from the board and from the public. No one has to comment, and then okay. you can vote on it. Okay. Do we have any comments from the public? How about our board? No comments? Okay. Can we entertain a motion to approve a write the resolution for that? Yes. Okay. Any motion on that? I'll move. Okay. We'll move Mr. Scott. Second by... I'll second. Second. Yeah. 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 Mr. Ship, our seconds are dead. Here to, uh, roll call, Mr. Scott? Yes. Mr. Ship, our? Yes. Right, yes. So we'll make it, we'll put that in there. 8 of 20. 8 of 20, we have to change the rest of them, yeah. 8 of 20. Okay, let's go on to the yeah. next item. Yeah. If I may, Mr. Yeah. Chairman, one more thing. Sure. <laughs> Relative to the Menards. That's fine. Um, you also need a resolution to authorize signature of the HOP permit for the traffic light uh, at Matthew Drive in the proposed uh, drive into the Menards, uh, you, you've already, this is a resolution to authorize the signature so that PennDOT can receive the plans and, and, and look, at the, look at the proposed developments. Okay. Any comments from the public on that? How about the board? Do we have to give that to PennDOT? The developer actually submits it under the consultants do, uh, for We the did the traffic study, so you're just letting them review it. That's well? correct. Well, no, this is actually the signal upgrade. Signal upgrade. For the signal upgrade. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. But it's been approved already by. The signal upgrade hasn't, the traffic impact statement has. Oh. So. Do we have a motion to accept this resolution number nine? Move by Mr. Shepard. We have a second. I'll second. Second by Mr. Scott. Uh, question on the motion? Roll call, Mr. Schiffbauer? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. And Mr. Vernon, yes. Motion carries. Okay. Don't interrupt me. You that's okay. No, <laughs> I'm glad that's what you're here for. No problem. So we'll move that. Okay, now the next item we have is a 
Especially with a picnic area for a sheepskin trail. Mr. Shepard, I think you can handle that one for us. I'll try. Uh, you know, you very well know the sheepskin trail that we constructed in Southeast Township, which actually three years ago we finished the trail. It's been a very big success. The usership is, uh, the numbers are just far off the charts. And we're always looking to, to improve it. Uh, I know we did the, the improvement uh, down on the far end next to the class building, uh, the dog park. That's been a very popular attraction to the trail. Uh, you can go by there just about any time of the day and you'll see people with their dogs uh, uh, using the facility. Uh, we've done some other things, always trying to improve the trail for the users. And this is one idea that uh, we're going to entertain is the uh, develop, uh, locating, developing a site along the trail, which is located between the South Union Township building here and the Redstone Furnace Road. <clears throat> it's an area, uh, I guess, real close to the Little Brownfield um, community. Uh, it's along the trail and also is located uh, the picnic park that we're looking at now. We started to work on at the there are two streams that come together, and the park will be, uh, picnic area will be located in between the two streams, right next to the, to the trail itself. Uh, we're going to uh, start off with four, five, six picnic tables. Uh, it will just add another, I think, a convenient addition to the trail that will allow the users to even enjoy the trail more. Uh, I just would like to say that last week we had uh, the employees who volunteered at North uh, West Hardwood, formerly known as Coastal Lumber. Mark Trindis had called me about two months ago and said that their company was instituting a program that where their employees would donate one day's work to some type of community-minded um, project and Mark uh, contacted me in light of the fact that uh, uh, their business place of business is located in South Union Township. And uh, the first day, last Tuesday, I believe it was, he had a crew of eight workers to come down. We started working along with our crew and clearing the area for the picnic, uh, the picnic area. And the following day, they had 16 workers come down. And we uh, accomplished a heck of a lot in clearing out the area. Now our next step, we're going to be deploying some final, or not some final, but further touches in uh, uh, removing some additional shrimp and leveling the area. And uh, we'll hopefully be ready to uh, uh, add the picnic tables here in another several weeks. And we'll keep you posted as to the progress of this project. But uh, I'm certainly sure that it will be a uh, an addition that is very welcomed by the users of our sheepskin trail. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Shepard. Are the options for the side? No, thank you. Nice job, Mr. Shepard. Thank you. Okay, let's go on to this. Next item, a resolution for approval for the plan revision of the sewage facilities planning module for the SIMBA, S-I-M-A, P-A, L-L-C. Uh, <coughs> overview. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. Go ahead and handle that one. Yeah, that, that planning module was, was in the water. my person, everybody can see it. You want to give us your name, position? Uh, Glenn Wolf, a civil engineer with the H Group. Um, we reviewed the planning module. It was in order. Uh, all the attachments were appropriate. And the system in that area does have capacity. And that's formally known as the Huggins Trailer. <coughs> Correct. Same, same thing. Same place. Okay. Yeah. Any qu other questions for Mr. Wolf? No. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you know, I would just like to add, it's not directly involved to what you're, we're speaking upon. You know, over the years we've had a lot of problems with the lack of maintenance of Huggins Trailer Court. And it was sold here recently, uh, purchased by a firm out of Morgantown, West Virginia. And uh, we have to give credit where credit is due. They've made uh, a strong attempt to clean the place up remove some of the dilapidated uh, and unsafe trailers at the location. And uh, uh, I think that if they continue on this way, they, that park will, that trailer park will be uh, acceptable under sound township ordinances right now. Uh, they're moving in that direction, and uh, we 
I think should complement the new owners on the job that they're they're doing right now, cleaning that trailer park up. Okay. Good. Anything else? Do we have a motion to approve this resolution? I'll move. Member Mr. Scott, do we have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Schiffbauer. Any questions on the motion? We'll call Mr. Scott. Yes. And Mr. Schiffbauer. Yes. Mr. Vernon, yes. Motion carries. We'll make a resolution number 10 of 2020. Next item on agenda resolution approving a modification of the fiscal year 2016 2017 for a community development block grant program. Mr. French, welcome up here and explain that to the public, Andrew. I didn't think I had to say anything. I will. Uh, I'll put you on the spot. You're, on the spot. you're also a resident of South uh, Yeah, so this is just a maintenance <coughs> item. So as you know, we just completed um, your road reconstruction projects in the <coughs> Continental, and uh, this is just shifting older money uh, to, to the more current years so that we'll have additional time to, to spend those funds. Okay. With our figures, you have a copy of the figures you yeah. gave us? Okay. Do we have a motion, entertain a motion to approve this? Transfer money. I'll make a motion. We include the CDBG money. Okay. Second by me, Mr. Scott. Okay. Good. Question on the motion. Roll call, on Mr. Schiffbauer. Yes. Mr. Scott. Yes. Mr. Brand, yes. Thank you, Mr. French. Yep. For all your help, also. Okay. Let's go over to number, item number 18 on the net page two of our agenda. Resolution to accept a Willowway Road in South Union Township. Mr. Davis, can you handle that for us? You yeah. have the paperwork there. Yes, Hollow, uh, Oak Hollow LLC has requested that the township accept Willowway Road. Uh, and they have, uh, we have prepared a resolution <coughs> for the acceptance of that road. I assume it's met all of the, uh, the standards of our ordinances. It's been by yes. uh, engineers. Yeah. With that in mind, uh, we have prepared the resolution. They also provide us with a deed of dedication. We don't typically accept a deed of dedication, but I don't see any downside to that. They're going to record it. They'll pay the recording. What is that for the public's knowledge? Or it's just it's just the township accepting the road. I mean, the deed, of, a, deed of dedication. It's just the deed of the road itself to the township dedicating it to us. And we, our act, by adopting the resolution which I have, which we have prepared, is the act of accepting it. So they have offered us the road. We've ins our engineers have inspe inspected it. It's passed the various inspections, met required uh, ordinances, and by this act today, should you, should the board uh, pass this resolution, it'll become a township road. Okay. Thank you. Now, one thing you mentioned, Mr. Byrne, earlier, uh, I do the exhibit A that's attached does describe the road. Uh, there's a map and meets and bounds description as well. You'll follow that with the resolution if we pass Yes. If it's adopted, I'll, pa I'll, I'll do both. And I'll leave the documents with you if it's passed. Any questions for no one? How about for entertain a motion to approve? I'll move. Move by Mr. Scott's. We have a second. To I'll second Mr. Scott's motion for the resolution to accept the ball away road in our township. Any question on the motion? Roll call. Mr. Scott? Yes. Mr. Vernon? Yes. Mr. Schiffbauer? Yes. Motion carries. That would be it. resolution number 12 of 2020. Let's go to the next motion. Number 19. From the, any more comments from the public? No? Let's go to number 20, our financial statement. Mr. Treasurer, Mr. Schiffbauer. Yes, we have the, the uh, financial statement here. It's uh, available for the for public. Uh, I think I'm just going to read the uh, the total funds of South Union Township. Uh, that would be sufficient enough, correct? And, and we have the uh, the uh, the statement is available before yeah. anybody wants to look at it. Yeah, but the uh, the total fund that is now in the uh, that the township does have is three million three hundred ninety three thousand four hundred ten dollars and fifty one cents. That includes all the various accounts that the township maintains. Thank you, Mr. Schiffer. Any questions, Mr. Scott, on that? Okay, then let's go on to number 21, motion to pay the current bills. Mr. Secretary, Mr. Scott. Make a motion to pay the current bills from the state fund, $12,026.96, North Union, South Union, Governmental Board Fund, $10,000. Tails on the Trails Fund is zero. Uh, the Sewage Fund, $12,026.96. 
$229,770.44. Recycling fund, $2,636. The hydrogen fund, $1,125.96. The athletic fund, $1,145. And from the general fund, $115,142.43. That's my motion to pay the bills. Motion by our secretary, Mr. Mr. Scott. Do we have a second? No, second. Second by Mr. Shipbar. <coughs> Any questions on the motion? Roll call, Mr. Scott. Yes. Mr. Shipbar. Yes. 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 Motion carries. Okay, let's go to number 22. Our engineer, Mr. Over. Anything? I have add? nothing further than what we've already discussed. Okay. Let me go on item number. Do we have a question for Mr. Over? Item number 23. Then our solicitor. Anything new for I, us? I have we to, wore you out today. I have to follow Mr. Over's lead here. So we, we, uh, I've already addressed the issues that, uh, that, the, that the board has voted on. And, of course, if any of you have any questions, I'll be glad to try to answer them. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Thank you. Let's go on to number 24. That's Mr. Scott's favorite motion. I'll make a motion to adjourn at 434. Motion by Mr. Scott. Do we have a second? In a minute here. <laughs> Second, Mr. Shepard. Question on the motion. Roll call. Mr. Scott. Yes. Mr. Shepard. Yes. And Mr. Vernon. Yes. Motion carries. This meeting is now adjourned. Thank you very much. Hey, 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 uh, I'm going to give you some stuff for you. Leave.